the ruling of Qada to make up the mist Salah in Islamic Sharia. Ulama of the Muslim Ummah agree that it is a big sin to skip Salah deliberately. The sin of skipping Salah is greater than adultery, theft and drinking wine. One should ensure that all his Salah are offered on time, and if he, sometime, could not offer Salah on time, he should make Qada of that Salah immediately. It is our and our ulama's responsibility to try our best to make every person of the Muslim Ummah punctual to offer Salah on time, and our Salah should be offered with all solemnity and full submissiveness because it is the only key for our and all mankind's success in the hereafter. As the Creator of the whole universe has said in Surah al muminun 1-11. What is the Sharia ruling in the light of the Holy Quran and Sunnah about the people who fully neglect Salah or they offer only Friday and Eid prayers or offer Salah without punctuality? A well-known Saudi religious scholar Sheikh Muhammad bin Salah al Uthaymin Ra in his book Hukmu Tariqis Salah, ruling of one who neglects the prayer, has quoted the different opinions of Fuqaha and scholars. Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal Ra said that the per the person who neglects the prayer with no excuse is a kafir disbeliever, and he is beyond the pale of Islam. And his punishment is to be killed if he does not repent and does not offer salah regularly. Imam Malik and Imam Shafi'i see that he is not a kafir but he would be killed. Imam Abu Hanifa Ra says that the person doesn't become kafir, but he should be imprisoned until he starts to pray or would die there. Though offering salah on time is especially emphasized in the Quran and Hadith, in spite of that sometimes a person misses salah, sometimes due to forgetfulness, sometimes for some excuse and sometimes only for laziness and carelessness. In the light of the sayings and the actions of Prophet Pbuh, the majority of ulama, fuqaha and mahadithin agree that all the missed salah should be made up by offering their kata. The Prophet Pbuh said several times that if a person could not offer salah on time, he should offer it later. To keep it short, I am mentioning only one hadith which is reported by Bukhari and Muslim. It is reported by Anas Ra, that if anyone forgets a salah then he should offer it immediately when he remembers it, and there is no kafara expiation for that except it. Allah says, establish salah for my remembrance, Bukhari and Muslim. In some narrations, the words of hadith are as follows, if anyone forgets a salah or oversleeps then its kafara is to observe it when he remembers it. It is in a famous book of hadith, Termizi that the prophet Pbuh said, if anyone forgets a salah or oversleeps then he must offer it when he remembers it. Note, sleeping at the time of Fajr due to the habit of sleeping late night is a major sin. In the light of other ahadith, the meaning of sleeping in this hadith is that a person has adopted all possible means to offer salah on time but coincidentally he could not wake up some day. The Prophet Pbuh and his companions Ra offered some salah after its proper time. Abu Huraira Ra reported that when the Messenger of Allah Pbuh returned from the expedition to Khyber, he traveled one night, and stopped for rest when he became sleepy. He told Bilal Ra to remain on guard during the night and the Messenger of Allah Pbuh and his companions Ra slept. When the time for dawn approached Bilal Ra leaned against his camel facing the direction from which the dawn would appear but he was overcome by sleep while he was leaning against his camel, and neither the messenger of Allah Pbuh nor Bilal Ra nor anyone else among his, compa his companions Ra got up till the sun shone on them. Allah's messenger Pbuh was the first of them to awake and on being startled, he called Bilal Ra and ordered the companions Ra to go ahead, then they led their camels to some distance. The messenger of Allah Pbuh then performed ablution and gave orders to Bilal Ra who pronounced a comma and then led them in the morning prayer. When he finished the prayer he said, when anyone forgets the prayer, he should perform it when he remembers it Muslim. Habir Ra reported that Umar Ra had been cursing the pagans of the Quraysh on the day of the Battle of Khandak Trench. He said, O oh, Messenger of Allah Pbuh, by God, I could not offer Asr Salah till the sunset. Upon this, the Messenger of Allah Pbuh said, By Allah, I too, have not offered it. 
The Messenger of Allah PBUH performed ablution and we too performed ablution, and then the Messenger of Allah PBUH offered Asr Salah after the sun had set, and then offered Maghrib Salah after it Bukhari. In some ahadith, it is mentioned that on this occasion, more than one shala had been missed, and the Prophet PBUH offered them after their proper time. It is clear from the above-mentioned ahadith that if one or more shala is missed, it is compulsory to make kata for the missed salah. For detail, see the most popular commentary of Muslim written by Imam Nawavi Ra, Share a Muslim volume. 1. Page 277, and the most popular commentary of Bukhari written by Ibn Hajr al-Asqalani Ra, Fathul Bari volume. 2. Page 69-70. But the opinions of ulama are different about giving the title of adaa praying them in their time or kata making them up after their time of salah which is not offered on time due to forgetfulness or any other excuse. There is no sin for salah which is not offered on time due to forgetfulness or other excuses, insha'Allah. But if a person leaves salah deliberately, it is a big sin and should repent necessarily. Ulama are of the opinion that along with repentance for a missed salah, one has to make kata for it also. In the light of the sayings and the actions of the Prophet PBUH, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i, and Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal Ra, have the same opinions that one has to make kata for the missed salah, though he had left it intentionally. Sheikh Abu Bakr al-Zari wrote in his book Asala wa Hukmu Tariqiyah Salah and the ruling for one who neglects it, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i and Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal Ra, said that making kata of missed salah is wajib compulsory on one who neglects it deliberately too. But the sin of leaving salah would remain by making kata. Therefore, he has to seek forgiveness from Allah too along with making kata. Alama Kurchubai also wrote this in his famous commentary of the Quran Al-Jami Liya Kamil Quran Volume 1, page 178 that majority of ulama agree that making kata of missed salah is wajib compulsory on one who leaves it deliberately though he is a sinner as well. Alama ibn Taymiyyah has also admitted that kata is compulsory on one who leaves it deliberately according to Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi'i and Imam Ahmad bin Hanbal In short, if a person left a few salah or many intent, it is compulsory for him to make kata for these missed salah along with seeking forgiveness from Allah. Therefore, the majority of ulama including the four imams said the same in the light of the sayings and the actions of the Prophet PBUH. Only Dawud al-Zahiri in old age and Ali Hadith in modern age differ from this opinion. And the decision of some ulama who are of the opinion of not making kata of salah as compulsory, which is missed deliberately, is on the basis that they consider the person who leaves salah intentionally as kafir, and when he becomes kafir, so the matter of making kata of the missed salah, the missed salah ends here. But the majority of ulama are of the opinion that a person who leaves salah intentionally is not a kafir but he is faik, a pervert transgressor, and this is the more authentic opinion. Otherwise, in this era, a large number of Muslim ummah would be beyond the pale of Islam. The writer of the most popular commentary of Sahih Muslim and author of Riyad as Salihin Imam Nawawi wrote in the commentary of Muslim that there is ijma consensus of ulama in this matter that kata is wajib compulsory on one who leaves salah intentionally. Some ulama differ from this opinion, but their opinion is invalid due to being against ijma of ulama. Moreover, he also wrote that some people from Allah's Zawar went against the Mass, and said that Qada is not compulsory for Salah which was missed without any excuse. And they thought that sin of neglecting Salah is so great, that its punishment would not be over by making Qada. But this opinion is based merely on their ignorance, share a Muslim volume. 1. P. 238. Alama Abul Hai Hanafi Laknawi Ra, who got only 40 years of age, wrote approximately 80 books, and whose educational capabilities are accepted by all the schools of thought, wrote that some people from Allah's Zawar went against the mass, and said that it is not 
not compulsory for the one who did not offer Salah on its proper time, to offer it later on Al-Talik Al-Mumajadala Muwatha Imam Muhammad P127. Please consider that when the Prophet PBUH made Qada of the missed Salah obligatory on one who forgets or sleeps whereas both of them are not sinner, then Qada should be compulsory on one who leaves it intentionally. It is like a verse of the Quran which says, and do not say, uff to them, parents. From this verse, we learned that when it is not allowed to say even uff to them, then to beat them or abuse them would be a heinous sin as well. Likewise when kata is compulsory due to forgetfulness in sleeping, then kata more necessary on leaving salah intentionally. It is in Sahih Muslim that, a man or woman came to the Prophet PBUH and said, my mother has died without making up for a month of fasting which she had missed. Can I fast on her behalf? The Prophet PBUH said, would you pay her debt if she owed to someone? The man said, yes. The Prophet PBUH said, Allah is more deserving of payment in settlement of his debt. This hadith of the Prophet PBUH is about kata of fasts. And it is obvious that there is no difference between salah and fast for being fars obligatory. But the obligation of performing salah is emphasized the most in the Quran and Hadith. So when making kata of the fast is proven, then there should be kata of salah as well. Moreover, the whole Muslim Ummah has agreed that if someone leaves the fast of Ramadan intentionally, he must make kata of it. In the same way, if someone did not perform hajj in spite of his ability to do so, then it is compulsory on his inheritors to arrange to send someone to perform hajj on his behalf before the distribution of his inheritance. Likewise, if someone did not pay zakat for many years and then again Allah gave him guidance hidaya, so he has to pay zakat of past years also. In short, since 1400 years, the majority of fuqaha, ulama and mahadithin are of the opinion that kata of the missed salah is compulsory whether it is missed due to forgetfulness, sleeping intentionally or any other reason. In the light of the Quran and Hadith, the well-known four imams have the same opinion. In case of forgetfulness in sleeping, there would be no sin but he has to make kata of it, and if he leaves it intentionally, he has to make kata of it along with seeking forgiveness from Allah. Ulama who said that a person who leaves Salah intentionally would be kafir, as ex-grand mufti of Saudi Arabia Sheikh Abdul Aziz bin Baz has the same opinion, and they are of the opinion that there is no kata of Salah which is left intentionally and this opinion. This opinion can be understood to some extent though considering a person who leaves Salah as kafir is against the opinion of the majority of ulama. But though those ulama who, according to the majority of ulama, do not give fatwa of being kafir about the person who leaves Salah, but they say that kata is not compulsory if it is left intentionally. So their opinion, apart from being illogical, is against the opinion of the majority of ulama, and in the light of the evidences, it is wrong too as the well-known Mahadith Imam Nawawi wrote it. Moreover, the caution also demands that kata of fars obligatory salah should be made compulsory so that we would not face any kind of humiliation and disgrace in the hereafter because the Prophet PBUH said, the first thing that the slave man or woman will be called to a Account for on the day of resurrection will be Salah. If they are correct he, she will succeed, if they are incorrect he, she will fail and lose Termizi, Ibn Majah, Nisai, Abu Dawood and Musnad Ahmad. When we have admitted that Allah has made Salah obligatory for us, and a person who leaves Salah is not kafir, but he is faik, a pervert transgressor, then we could not understand the opinion of those who do not make kata of the missed Salah compulsory if it is left intentionally. For example, if someone committed adultery or theft, he has to seek forgiveness from Allah. And if his crime is proved in Sharia court, he would be punished had as well. It means that he, along with seeking forgiveness from Allah, has to face worldly punishment as well. In the same way, a person who leaves Salah intentionally, along with seeking forgiveness from Allah, has to make kata of the missed Salah also. In short, in the light of the sayings and the actions of the Prophet PBUH, it is clear that every Salah should be offered on time. 
But God forbid, if any salah is missed, it should be made up as soon as possible whether it is missed due to forgetfulness, sleeping, laziness, negligence or any other excuse, whether it would be more than one salah or salah of a few years. In the period of the Prophet Pbuh and the companions Ra, it could not be imagined that a Muslim leaves salah of some days intentionally. In the first three generations of Islam, even a single incident did not occur, in which salah were missed intentionally for some days, but in that period, even hypocrites did not gather the courage to leave salah. So, if salah is missed due to carelessness and laziness, first of all, he should seek forgiveness from Allah, and then make kata of the missed salah along with istifar and repentance till death, whether he should offer the missed salah at a time or according to his convenience, sh should make kata with every obligatory salah, salah on its proper time. Ulama wrote that it is better for the person who left many salah that he should not offer nafl salah, rather he should make kata of the missed salah. This is the opinion of Fukaha, Ulama and Mahadithin since 1400 years in the light of the sayings and the actions of the Prophet Pbuh, and in the modern period, from east to west most of Ulama have the same opinion. This is the one which is based on caution that leaving Salah is a major sin, even some Ulama said that the sin of leaving Salah is greater than adultery, theft and drinking wine. Therefore, along with seeking forgiveness from Allah on missed Salah, it should be made up as well. May Allah make us among those who offer Salah on time, and who do not leave even a single Salah, Amen. This video narration has been prepared by the theclearevidence.org.